this week's vlog is going to be very different. We're uh, making some changes. Some very, very big changes. Big decisions, too, because, you know, we started our journeys in this van and we love her so much. But I think it's time for us to part ways. We've decided that we are going to sell Lolo, buy an empty truck, and build a whole new van. We're hopeful that whoever purchases it, we've been honest with everybody about what's going on with the engine and all of that. The build itself is amazing and we would be so happy in here forever. It's just that what we want to do with our coming months of travel and years of travel, Lolo just isn't going to be that van that we need to do all this crazy stuff. Yeah. We would be eventually probably having to drop in a new engine maybe i mean this engine could last five more years for all we know but, but probably not at the rate that at we're the rate going. we travel and the mountains that we climb and the things that we it's just stressful and i think it's time to make a change yes today we are going to see about buying a new van fingers crossed that it is good yeah it's so like the last time we were searching we saw so many vans and yeah. it took us so many months yeah. to find lolo so now we're in phoenix we're in a position where as soon as we sell this we're basically homeless yeah so much. we need to find a new vehicle kind and, of at the same time slash before this sells and then when we find the new vehicle we have to then put together a build that will allow us to live in it until we could really like build settle something. on the spot and build something because we still have to get to the wolfpack roundup and then we want to build in florida so yeah. we need to do a whole cross-country trip in basically an empty cargo van yeah and so we haven't vlogged for the last couple of days because we've both just been stressed out like i had a full like crying panic attack yesterday morning mm. and it's just like we haven't been sleeping and it's last just like night, a lot of moving pegs last night had to be one of the worst sleeps that we've both ever had <sighs> and and it's just due to the fact that we have so many thoughts and things going on in our brains right now that we're not we're not we're not at our best <laughs> yeah and i was just talking to my sister and it's kind of like always when you're selling a vehicle it's like a lot of stress because there's so many messages and questions yeah. and people and like it's just you're like oh my god like da 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 like when are we gonna find the person who wants this van and on top of that you know we're up in the mountains so it's hard to get service and like we're trying to show people on video chat the van and it, it's just not easy all this blabber jabber to yeah. say this week's vlog is going to be all about selling lolo finding our new van and hopefully hitting the road to get back to Oregon. And the cool part is we have a bunch of our friends around us Yes, right now. thank God. Yeah. Honestly, it makes me want to cry at how awesome I'm going to cry. It's okay, you can. They've just been so generous and so, like, helpful. And if, like, like anything you need, you just let us know. And yeah. we're there to help. And, like, you want to drive somewhere, we'll go. Like, whatever we can do to make it happen, we're going to be here and stay here until... You guys are sorted and yeah. we're super super great so uh, i have to give a big shout out to forrest and alex thank you so much for being there for us and we also have to give a huge shout out to uncle kevin who just showed up yeah, last night who just showed up last <laughs> night we wake up in the morning and his van's outside like you know these people have been nothing but amazing towards us and we are just absolutely grateful for you guys thank you so much for everything you do for us and for others yeah so <laughs> let's I'm stop crying, crying. Too, i know yeah. i can see it so let's hit the road. Kevin is going to drive us down to Phoenix today, and we're going to go see about a van. All right, no more crying. Let's have some fun. Okay. <laughs> let's go, guys. I'm actually full crying. Yeah, you're good. Uh... This is awesome! Ooh, Look at me and my fancy seat! No. And they have a table. I don't know how it works, but... Just fold it. <laughs> well, it's, it's fully open right now. Yeah. Okay, well, anyways, it's really cool. <laughs> Let's go to Phoenix. Paco found his spot with Mama. And I'm in the front for now.
guys, you should never go shopping on an empty stomach. Never. So we came to pick up lunch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Good stuff. Kevin's just shoveling it in. <laughs> Action. Lunch was super good. I am really way too full. Phoenix is hot. It's so hot. It's disgustingly hot. We literally like got out of Kevin's van, beautifully air conditioned, temperature controlled van, opened the door and was immediately like attacked by heat. You know, it doesn't matter whether I'm driving or I'm in the passenger seat, Paco still wants to climb up on my shoulders. So we just made it over to Tommy Camper Van, which is the spot that we're coming to look at this new van. So let's go see if it works out. They also make really beautiful builds. So if you guys are into getting something already or having something already converted, these might be the people that you want to hit up if you're in the Arizona area. Or if you're willing to travel, they do it really inexpensive and cheap for the people that are buying them too and they have beautiful builds. So TommyCamperVan.com, go check them out. I am so nervous. We bought a new van! Not yet. Just kidding, we're taking it for a test drive, which you should always do at least 10 miles. Yeah, so we're gonna go for a nice little joy ride right now. I like this too, look. Oh, so fancy with the armrest. Oh, look at me, I got one too. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. What do you think, Paco? Let's see how she drives now. All right, let's joy ride. Yeah, let's enjoy the air conditioning while we're at it. You leaving us for Uncle Kevin? <laughs> yeah, you traded? You leaving us for Uncle Kevin? Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's okay. So here's the deal with the van. We really like it and we want to purchase it, but he's had it up on eBay for like a week and the auction ends in 27 minutes. There's one bidder on it. Do we put a bid on? Cause he's like, I can't sell it to you until the eBay thing closes. But if the other person who bid on it on eBay actually wants it, then we just lost the van. Bid, baby, bid. You think so? Bid, it, bid, it. Uh, <laughs> 20, what do you think, Kevin? Okay. Bid, bid, it's a nice van. Bid it. This is stressful. Oh, yeah. Am I doing this? Yeah, you're doing it. Do you want the van? Yeah. Do I want the van? Yeah. I think it's a good purchase. You think it's a good purchase? 20700 I got you. Oh, no! <laughs> Kevin's going to steal the van from us, and then we're going to have to buy it off of him. Mother, he's going to charge us like a huge 30? update. He's like, you, you need to give me 30 now. All right, I'm not doing it. Are you doing it? I'll do it. You ready? Oh, My heart is beating. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's do it again. I'll click bid. You've been outbid. Don't let it get away. What do you mean? There's 17 bids on it now. Somebody just bid 20,700. So do 20,800. <laughs> Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. But then they're just gonna bid 20,900. Let's just see. Do I wait 24 minutes and then put in and then see what happens? And do it at the very last second? Yeah. Yeah, you can try it. We'll confirm with you guys what happens. Bye. Like, we can go golfing. All yeah. Revel owners need to know where the nearest golf course is at all times. Kevin, what do you think about that? You're a Revel owner. Closest thing I get to freaking golf is four play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard it here. Let's head to town and I'm gonna eat my little breakfast. No mad bad special. 
No mad bad spat. Groceries, check. Thank you, babe. Laundry done. Check. Now you're gonna fold it all, right? You don't want me to do that. Everything will be wrinkled. Folding is on me. Are you happy, buddy? Are you so cozy in there? Hi, Papa. So we just made it up to Arizona Snow Bowl and we're gonna go on a nice little hike. They have these beautiful aspen trees out here that we've never really got to see before in this fall time. We heard about some really beautiful ferns as well. So looking forward to getting out there and seeing it. Can't wait. How about you, babe? I'm bummed I Van fell on eBay. Yeah. But I'm excited for a hike. <laughs> <laughs> she looks really excited and ready to go. It is a bummer that the van sold you know, but it wasn't meant to be for us, that means. And we'll just get the next one, hopefully. All right, we'll see you guys on the hike. What's really cool about these aspen trees is that they all derive from one seedling, and then it makes a root system, and then these trees sprout from that root system. And then they can also survive fires, right? Because the root system is underground, so it's underneath the heat. So they might burn on the top, but then they regrow because of their root system. Interesting. Uh -huh. okay, do it. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch my butt. Keep it in there. Everything is beautiful and great and wonderful. Alex is definitely in the vlogging mood today. <laughs> You're gonna wipe out. We have a fuel line that's leaking right now and we are going to get it replaced, but unfortunately we went to Mercedes and they gave us the wrong part. So now we have to wait till tomorrow morning for that to happen, but the van is getting an inspection anyway. A person is going to know whether or not they're gonna be the new owner of Lolo and fingers crossed everything goes well and she winds up taking the van. So for now, we're gonna head over to the coffee shop while they do the inspection, and then we'll unfortunately have to come back here tomorrow morning to get the final piece of the van put in. Things are moving. Things are going. And now, we're moving. And now for me to ride two skateboards. Down no. a really steep I, hill. I will kill myself, so I'm not doing it. Three, two, fun. Jake Jeff. We haven't ridden in a while and I feel very unsure of myself. <laughs> I'm like, Rah! Oh, did you really fall? Yeah. Alex went down right when I took the camera off of her. Look at this. You good, babe? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should have put on a helmet. It wasn't that bad of a fall. All right. Oh. Pop back up. Paco's making sure you're okay. We have our, we have our, uh, our medic on site. Paco's checking her out. Hurt my jaw. Huh. I feel like I tensed up. Like... Yeah, you clenched. All right, let's make it to this cafe. I'm hungry. It's very good. I'll translate for you guys. It's very good. Two smoothies, and I got my breakfast sandwich here with some avocado on it, ready to go. Mm -hmm. We came here the other day too. It's called On the Run. Their food is really good, their coffee's really good, their smoothies are really good. Sit outside with Paco. It's safe to say, it's really good. It's perfect. Oh, excuse me. Look in here. Oh. Paco, oh my buddy. Oh, out of here. Oh yeah. Why does that happen? Oh. Ah! <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> Oh, you got my legs. What? <laughs> Come on. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not like you got my ass. He got my feet stuck. 
So this is the first time I think ever that we're paying to fill up water. It's only $5. Yeah, we got so a full tank and a dump also, right? And it, yeah, and it's, and it's potable water, so you don't have to worry about using your filtration system if you didn't want to. We got the inspection done, everything is good. Our potential buyer is gonna let us know by the end of the day if she's in and she wants it, and then we're gonna go from there. Um, we're gonna head over to the dog park, Cat and Zach and Forrest and Alex are already hanging out over there. And uh, yeah, make some lunch, we're gonna go live. Lots of good things going on today. Oh, and we had a shower, which felt really great. So fresh and so clean, clean. And we fill it up for water. Yeah, we're fresh and clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> Let's see that gyration. Ready for the gyration? Wow, that can't go in the vlog. <laughs> Update on the van, the first person that we thought was gonna buy it dropped out. So, van still up for sale at this moment. Yeah, but so we have someone else. We kind of had like a little lineup. Yeah. So now we've gone to the next person, so we're gonna see about that. And then we have another person, so we're gonna see about that. Mm -hmm. So, yep. We'll see what happens. Wish us luck, guys. Three, two, one. That's the fuel line right now that we were talking about in the live chat. And this is why I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Because the shit is leaking and it got really bad just recently. And there's nothing we could do about it. We just gotta deal with it and you know, as it comes, you know? So he's gonna now have to lift this up because our bike hitch and stuff is dragging. Wait, can you take your bike off? What's that? Can you just take the hitch off? No, look, the, the whole hitch on the base will drag. Oh. Yeah, so it has to get like propped up on the wheel. See, I just throwing that underneath. Oh my. So this is not your first rodeo. No. <laughs> we were supposed to get this fuel line replaced today, but then Mercedes sent us the wrong part. Correct. So then we had to just kind of wait an extra day. We're getting the part tomorrow. It's all going to get fixed tomorrow. So we did our best trying to, you know, get it together and use it. We should have just not drove it. anywhere tonight. I agree, and that's what I said earlier, and, you know, yeah. we pushed our limits. And then we did drive somewhere. And this is where wow. we're at now, because we pushed our limits. Yeah. Know your limits. Play within it. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Oh, we should have really grabbed our masks. Oh, we can't get anything out of the van, though? We probably can once We can ride with Forrest and Alex. Yeah, but that's why I said we should get our masks. Uh, if you guys could just uh, maybe take us over to the spot oh, over yeah. there, and yeah. then we could at least sleep in the car over there. Hey, your bike's uh, That's all right. That's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> 20 bucks. It's, it's, yeah, it's for sale. Were you, uh, you guys want to ride with us over there? Yeah, yeah possible. So it's kind of strange that Forrest and Alex wound up pulling up here next to us so we could get a ride from them to get to the mechanic we shop. We didn't even tell them we were here. No, it just happened that they showed up here. So yeah, lucky for us, we now have a ride. And we don't have to ride in the tow truck with Paco and Paco being all skittish and scared. At least he's with his friends now, you know? But yeah, this is the first time Lolo's been on a tow truck. Ever. Ever. Well, with us. Yeah. Lucky for our saviors once again. I feel like we're just so freaking lucky sometimes. Even in these hard times, we're lucky. We have people that are just happen to be in the place when we need them at the right time. Thank you Hola. So much. Hola. <laughs> this oh this seat God. belt I do. <laughs> this is why you always get extra seat belts installed in your van. Yo, oh, where's, we're we're legit here. secure. Oh, Joey yeah. likes nice to be on this. Have your nice bag. Sit, sit down, down, buddy. Oh, yeah, good yes. boy. This is so cool. <laughs> we made it to the shop. We can't start up the van right now because the fuel leaked out enough to where there's an air pocket in there now. So. Now the guys are gonna have to somehow get it in the shop or do the work out here. So we'll see we'll what happens. We'll find out in the morning. Yeah. Peace out guys, good night. All What's right. up guys, we spent the morning at the mechanic. We had some brunch with our friends Kat and Zach who just left town, they went to Sedona. And now we're waiting for the mechanic to be right, done, be switching out our one hose that popped last night. So we came to Best Buy and we're playing some games. Are you on each Atlanta, other's teams or we against each Dallas, other? We're on the same team. Kevin doesn't want to beat me. We've had a hot enough day as it is. <laughs> 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 
We got our butts whooped by the computer twice. <laughs> one was actually, you know what? One was 57 to 50, and the other one was 56 to 50. So we're That's slowly really getting close. better. Slowly getting better. That's not a bad score. We'll take the L for the day. It is what it is. That's Don't basketball it games usually get up to like 100 plus points? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unless you suck like us. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Courtney. Tequila. Oh, thank you. The hand sanitizer smells just like straight up margaritas. You and I got drunk? a lot. Oh, no. How you doing down there, Pox? You doing good? Three squirts is too much. Too much? Look Three at squirts is too much. <laughs> Okay, so we want to give you guys a little update on what's been going on with the van sale because I feel like we've just been running errands and stuff and we haven't really talked about it. Yep. So we've had quite a few people come look at it. We're still waiting for the right buyer. Yep. And we know that person will come. Yeah. And I think our stress levels about it have kind of decreased. Yeah. Yeah. I think at first it was just like so quick and we like jumped into the decision <laughs> and we're happy about the decision that we made. But I think that the, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, we've both taken a step back and realized like, it's gonna take a little bit of time, it's okay. Yeah, you and know? so everything is working out kind of perfectly and we're just keep thinking like the right buyer is gonna come and they're gonna come soon and everything's gonna work out perfectly. Yeah, and we have all the right people around us to, uh, you know, help us in the situation that we're in, which is perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're so thankful for Forrest and Alex and Uncle Kevin, you know, you guys have been amazing to us once again. And we're just very thankful for where we are and who we're with. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful for you, baby. I'm thankful for you, And I'm too. thankful for the little Paco. And yeah, he smells, he so, smells good. so good. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for vans is very stressful. Yeah, so, so I'm glad that we've kind of stopped doing that in tandem. Because, like, answering all the emails and replying to people and answering questions and blah, blah, blah. And, like, well, it's a lot of, like, mental energy. And then on top of that, we're still doing our regular, like, editing and our regular everyday life stuff. So right. we've just been piling things on our plate yes and so i think it's great that we have just said all right let's focus on this let's find a buyer for this when that person comes it will be perfect and then when they do it doesn't matter everybody. if we have a van or not because yep. we're just gonna go live with kevin yeah kevin has been uh <laughs> nice enough to say hey we could live together until you find another van or until we get to Florida and then you could buy a van on the East Coast, you know, because... Yeah, or like on the whole way, we'll look on the whole we'll way to find something. So yeah, I mean, fingers crossed, everything works out and we're good to go. Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good. The kind of funny thing these days is that because the sun's going down so early, it's literally... It's, 8 o'clock. It's 8 p.m. Yeah. And everybody's like, okay, we're going to bed. Good night. So we'll probably just watch a movie. We'll make some dinner and then call it an early night. Yeah, a little leisurely night. I'm cool with that. Yeah, me too. What are we making for dinner, You babe? smell like you ate chocolate. I did. Maybe you don't need dinner. Oh, I definitely need dinner. <laughs> I, that's why I ate the chocolate, because I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> We gotta give a toast because we sold the van this morning. Yeah, woo -woo. Woo. We have a buyer, she's all lined up. We're gonna deliver it after the wolf pack roundup. And fingers crossed, everything goes good. And that's it. Yep. I just gave myself a really bad vein freeze. Bane? Bane freeze? I can't even talk. It. So <laughs> she got a vein freeze. Is that when you wear the mask and you go, I'm taking over your city? <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. I have to tell you guys, I'm glad you don't have smell of vision because Paco's head smells like pee. He got a golden shower this morning from Charlie on accident. He was like, ugh. Oh, it we stinks. cleaned it, but it's yeah, not. It still smells though. You still like Charlie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you still like Charlie? Yeah. All right. That's right, guys. Lolo is sold, and we are heading to the Wolfpack Roundup. So be sure to subscribe for next week because in just a few short days, Lolo will not be ours anymore. We love you guys. See you in the next one.